You guys got questions? I've got answers. You guys are watching Ask Stand and Man. How you guys doing? My name is Stan Banks from T-Shirt Side Hustle, and I help people start T-shirt businesses from home. Wherever you're at. And today, I'm answering one of you guys' questions. So if you have a question and you want me to keep this bad boy rolling every single day, drop it in the comments below and make sure you subscribe and watch me answer that question in a later video. But real quick, let's get into today's question. Today's question comes from Unique Weirdo. It's a lot of little background to it, but I'm just going to read it in its entirety and you guys can follow along. Laugh out loud, my guy. Let me start off by saying if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be as good as I am doing vinyl printing. I appreciate it. I, you paved the way, beloved. Uh, secondly, if someone wants to order, uh, but I don't have the color, how do you charge for ordering it and applying it to the price? Or do you just take the loss on the order of vinyl shipment uh, making the shirt and not making a profit So I'm gonna get to the answer to this question right after the intro So I'm gonna tell you guys a story about how I got started. So I was print, printing a lot of shirts for Straight Outta Compton uh, and I was screen printing them. I did not do vinyl at this time. And then I ended up uh, getting some small orders. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna still take these orders. And then I went and purchased the vinyl cutter. Uh, and the place that I got the vinyl cutter from at the time, they had these little end rolls where they would, basically once the rolls got so small, they just put them the, the last little bit in a tub and then they would sell it. So I got my cameo. That, thing wasn't ready but I came back the next day and bought that whole lot so I had a lot of colors a lot of different things that I could test out and play with uh, but you don't always get to do this and I, I got lucky at the time that I purchased it because it's usually not there it's rare that you catch it there uh, so if I was starting from scratch I would start with 10 colors uh, and I'll put them in the description below but five I, what I did was I print I spent three hundred fifty dollars uh, on 10 colors uh, and I got like white, black, red, royal, all of the basic colors. And I'll put them in the description again. Like I said, I got these colors so that I can say these are the colors that I always have in stock. I spent $350 on 50 yards of vinyl. And basically, it would take 18 shirts to make my money back off of that. As from selling like $20 shirts, basically. It would take me 18 shirts, which is six yards of that whole 50 to make my money back off of that uh, and if you look at that you have to kind of play with some trade-off right because yeah I'm, I'm, I'm coming out at a loss right now but in the long run I'm gonna be able to make 40 uh, let me say 30 when I say six yards so 44 shirts I'll be able to make 44 more uh, shirts basically 44 yards worth of shirts and darn, this car just like blew up. Caught on fire. Ooh, I don't know if y'all gonna see that. It's crazy. But anyway, yeah. So I will be able to make 44 yards worth of more shirts. So 44 times three, you know, you're looking at 132 shirts that I'll make and it's all profit. And this guy ordered a yard. I think he said he had to pay for the yard and like shipping was like $16 plus the shirt. And basically he didn't make any money off that shirt that one yard, but he didn't look at it correctly because once he sells that color, then let, he can make two more shirts out of it per se, maybe more depending on what he's making. He'll be able to profit, all profit off of those shirts. So I kind of like to get to the point where I can stock up on vinyl. I don't want to order based off an of order coming in, unless it's a huge order, but I want to be able to say, hey, if this person wants one shirt, I want to be able to knock that one shirt out. And whenever that five yard roll gets very, very slim or very, very thin, what I end up doing is basically saying, yo, um, I'm just going to reorder. I need five yards of this, five yards of that, five yards of this, five yards of that. And then I move on. Like literally at the end of the day, you just want to be able to put yourself in position to be able to turn around orders faster. Uh, and of course, if it's a big order, they, they're not going to expect 50 shirts or 40 shirts at that moment. Right. So they'll be willing to wait a few, a few 
to get that big order, you just let them know, hey, it's gonna be a little turnaround time. But I wanna be able to get the small stuff out quick uh, so I can make the most money basically when it comes to that. So that's my advice. You know, you may not be able to start with 50 yards from jump, but over time, you really truly wanna start to build up. You really wanna start to build up your inventory. And right now I stock about 20 colors uh, plus some more some more specialty stuff flocks and stuff like that that if that stuff isn't in stock I will go ahead and uh, Then I'll just you know build onto it later. Or I order it and let them know But usually people just want the basics. So just make sure you got the basics in and then the basic colors All right, so if you guys have a question make sure you put it in the comments below This has been your boy Stan Banks about to go play some football peace